I think it's just the nature of your brain to go into panic mode, so you start forgetting and missing every note. There is no such thing as a perfect performance. I'm gonna be on stage in 10 minutes. I'm, I think I'm super nervous. <laughs> Today is the final performance exam I'll ever have as a Bachelor of Music student. And it's by far the hardest repertoire I've ever played in my life. I'm playing Chopin Impromptu number one in A flat major, uh, Janacek in the Mist, and Rachmaninoff second sonata, which is by far the hardest thing I've ever played before. The Rachmaninoff sonata is the piece I also made the practice vlog with, and also I played for the professor um, two days ago in Brisbane. It's 9 a.m. on the dot, and my exam's at 11.35, so in an hour and a half, two hours and a half sorry and also like the brisbane vlog i wanted to come earlier so that my hands can warm up because if i warm up at home and then come to uni on the journey to school my hands would have been stiffened from the coldness actually i'm really nervous because i couldn't sleep last night <laughs> I only got five hours sleep, which is not ideal. I wanted to sleep as much as possible. My main goal and main mental focus for performances like this is actually not to aim for a high mark because it is an exam, but it's just to show everything that I've prepared for properly. The biggest letdown is if you practice something for the past four months and you never get to show it in performance because you get nervous and you just forget about it, whether that be like a particular phrasing or like particular musical choice. So my main focus is just to show everything I've prepared for. And if I do that well and I executed properly then I'll be more than satisfied and that again shows you how difficult becoming a concert pianist or even just a normal soloist like an individual soloist is so I have two and a half hours of warming up wish me luck When I warm up for performances, obviously I need to warm my fingers up, but I'm more warming up my mindset and my brain. At the moment, I'm thinking about the phrasing because sometimes I catch myself lacking where I'm not thinking about the phrase and I don't finish it off properly. So that's very important. And I'm just going through in my head again what I will be thinking about when I'm in certain passages. And also I'm concentrating pretty hard on trying to relax and stay as loose as possible. Like piano technique, if your whole body is tense, it's, I think it's just the nature of your brain to go into panic mode. So you start forgetting and missing every note. I'm in the green room for the main hall of my uni. I'm gonna be on stage in 10 minutes. I'm, I think I'm super nervous. <laughs> well, the good thing is I'll have one performance done in the next hour. So I just hope it goes well. Since there's a small piano, I'm gonna do a little bit more practice on it and then hopefully we'll move out soon.
I just finished. <laughs> You'll probably see the full performance um, later when I post it, but I'll give that like an 8 out of 10. <laughs> That's not bad, to be honest. It's currently 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Obviously, I did want to finish off the video properly, but after my performance, everything was just way too hectic. And now my fingers are very tired. <laughs> they kind of feel like they're like swollen. But I'm just so relieved that it's done. I'm generally happy with how I played. There's always something that could be done better. Everyone knows that it never goes as well as how you practiced it. So if you're somewhat happy, that's actually the most you could ask for. There is no such thing as a perfect performance. If you're curious on how I went with the performance, make sure to go check out the actual concert I did. I'll put a link up to that video. And yeah, I just feel like there's a huge burden lifted off on my shoulders. I practiced six months for this one performance you know and i always thought throughout my university years that practicing for like four to six months for one single performance is such a wasted opportunity and that's one of the main motives on why i decided to have my own concert on sunday which is tomorrow i hope this was a good video and i also hope this video gave you some sort of insight into classical music and what performers go through on a performance day so if you stayed until the end of the video thank you so much for watching and good night for now